What's up guys, The Legend Tuna back with another episode of Tuna's Tips, a video series where we cover the upcoming raid bosses in Pokemon Go, give you the idea of the best counters to use to optimize your chances of success. This time we have Groudon. Coming back into raids, yep, Groudon will be back for 10 days starting June 7th, going all the way to June 16th. There's also gonna be two raid hours, June 8th and June 15th, 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. local time, and it's also going to be one of the featured Pokemon for Global Go Fest starting June 4th. Let's head on over and check out some of those counters. Groudon is a ground type. Its weaknesses are going to be water, grass, and ice. It's pretty bulky, and it only brings nukes. Solar Beam, Earthquake, and Fire Blast. It's got a maximum CP of 2,351 in normal weather. And when it's boosted, it will be 2,939. Let's look at some of those shadow counters because they get 20% bonus damage just for being shadow. Your top choice looks like Swampert. Bring in Hydro Cannon. Move sets are important. If you do not have Hydro Cannon on your Swampert, use something else. Hydro Cannon Swampert, top shadow choice, followed by Shadow Gyarados and Shadow Feraligator. Remember, Feraligator has Hydro Cannon as well. Those are Community Day moves. Legacy now, you can only get them with Elite Charge TMs. But there's other choices too. Shadow Tangro, Shadow Venusaur, bringing in some grass types there. Mixing things up. You even have Mamoswine, your first Shadow Ice type there. Followed by Weavile, Torterra, and Shift Tree. You get down some more spicy picks there. You can see there's a Shadow Salamence and even Shadow Victory Bell, one of my personal favorites. Let's remove those shadows from the equation and just look at the megas and non-megas or non-shadows as well. So your top mega counter is going to be Blastoise, bringing Hydro Cannon, followed by Venusaur, which is a grass type. Yep, you got your water, your grass, Venusaur, then Mega Gyarados with a non-Community Day move. So if you don't have those moves, those Community Day moves, Hydro Cannon, Frenzy Plant, Mega Gyarados is a good choice because it has Hydro Cannon. You can get that simply by using a charged TM. No, no community day required. Mega Gyarados, decent counter, get, get the job done. You can bring in, that's past three. Those are your top uh, mega counters. Non-mega, non-shadows. Zarud's up there. That mythical grass and dark type. Bring in Vine Whip and Power Whip. Shaman isn't in the game yet, but this weekend that could probably change. Kyogre is one of your top non-mega choices. Remember, we just had Kyogre. We've still got Kyogre in raids now, so maybe if you got the resources, power a few of them up, bring them and fight that Groudon. Next on the list there, after Kyogre, you're looking at, there's our, our friend Mega Latios popping up on that list just because it has Solar Beam. Yep, that is a... Uh, a uh, grass move Groudon's weak to it but there's other bring one of the water or Mega Venusaur right we got Obama Snow you've got Swampert up there with Hydro Cannon uh, Samurott with Hydro Cannon Tangrowth a couple grass moves there Kingler with Crab Hammer on that list very good for Alligator another Community Day Hydro Cannon user Tapu Bulu Making an appearance at number 14th, you've got Empoleon and Torterra on there as well. Empoleon and Torterra, both more Community Day moves. Roserade, Celebi, if you manage to power up your Celebi to uh, 40. Could be fun to see one of those in raids. Gyarados, Mewtwo, Klotzer, Palkia, Galarian, Darmanus, and Weavile. The further we go down the list, the higher the time to win becomes. So try to use stuff towards the top of the list, but if you don't have that, these counters here will work just fine too you'll at least be doing super effective damage and helping your group the best you can breloom septile mega gengars up there just from raw dps i'm assuming and then simi sage all the way down there with the other shaman and regular mama swine let's head over and check out how to make a team or check out what i'm going to be bringing for a team and as usual we go we click on our pokeball go over to the battle section Go to party at the top right, scroll all the way down, add plus for your gyms and raids. We'll make a new party name. This is going to be Groudon. 
boom that's done let's enter that in there and we've got a spot and let's go like this what am i bringing water types water we're bringing a blastoise i need a blastoise i'm gonna lead with my mega blastoise here we go here's my level 40 blastoise and then uh kyogres right pretty sure i've got some powered up kyogres i actually have a zarude my zarude is powered up there so blastoise so okay, we got blastoise with water gun and hydro cannon followed up with zarude bring in vine whip and power whip and then my third choice i think is all of my kyogres lots and lots of kyogres powered up a few of them we're ready that'll be my team blastoise zarude and kyogres in the back there that's the team but then also some other choices if you don't have those bring swamper bring that mud boy everybody's favorite mud boy or one of everybody's favorite mud boys <clears throat> make sure you have water gun and hydro cannon on it another choice you could bring would be a community day move samurai fury cutter and hydro cannon and another good choice would be that snappy gator that feraligator water gun with hydro cannon now you guys we like to keep these short and sweet get it to the point show you guys what you're looking for thanks for stopping in and checking it out if you're interested in raiding a groudon with us here live on stream you can go and check me out over at twitch tv forward slash legend tuna i'm live there every day seven days a week 4 p.m to 9 p.m pacific and if you guys would like to hit that follow and subscribe button on youtube it really helps the channel grow let me know down below if you what teams you plan on bringing and we'll see you out there in the raid screens take care peace